Hi guys, Addis here, Hardware Busters. Today, while in the lab, we will take a look at how you can check if your power supply is good or if it is high time for you to buy a new one. So, I have a deep cool PSU here. Uh, the first thing that you can do is you remove assuming that uh, the PSU is inside your system and you don't want to remove it for the time being at least. You remove the ATX cable. Now, I don't want to show you how to solve the cables because for most users it is not easy. Thanks to the stealth wires that they used. In the past, all cables had color modes and this made sense, right? To have color modes, to be able to distinguish the earth, the 12 volt, 5 volt, 5 USB, power good, power okay, all these uh, wires. Now everything is black, stell, as they call it. So the easiest way to check if the PSU responds is by getting one of these plugs. They are super cheap, super cheap, and for me it's the best way. So you remove from the main board the ATX connector, you connect it here, and voila, the PSU starts. Okay, if the PSU now uh, tries to start and the fan uh, spins for a while and shuts down immediately, two things happen. Either it has a semi-passive mode, this one, the deep cool has a semi-passive mode, I can deactivate it, but of course I have I have it activated in order to check that the PSU is working because there's no other way now to check it. And also, uh, most uh, PSUs, modern PSUs, especially from gold efficiency and upward, they have a relay, an electromagnetic relay inside. So you will hear a clack, a click sound. If you hear the sound once, everything is good, the PSU started. If you hear the sound twice, clack clack it means that the PSU started for some seconds and then immediately it shut off so a protection kicked in there was something wrong with the PSU so the PSU shut down the best way the easiest way is to take note of the fan but not uh, all PSUs have deactivable you cannot deactivate the semi-passive mode in all PSUs so you can also hear the sound of this relay Anyway, we believe that this PSU works, right? No, this is nothing. This doesn't mean anything to me. The next best thing to do is this. Take one of these cheap testers. They go for 10, 15 bucks the most. You connect an EPS or the PCI Express cable and the ATX, of course. And The PSU stops the spotting. <laughs> yeah, something's wrong now. You see? Something is wrong here. The PSU uh, tries to start, the fan spins for a little, and then nothing. Let's remove this. Crazy, eh? No, nothing. Take a picture. Online, on camera. The PSU failure on camera. This is the best. No, it's working. Let's see again, guys. Let's take a look. I will remove this. It works. <laughs> so, uh, probably there was something with the connector on this tester. It is a very old tester. I have it for 10 years or so. So, this tester shows all volt uh, voltage rails 
5 volt, 12 volt, 3.3 volt, 5 VSB, minus 12 volt, and the power, good signal. You can see the voltages, so you can, you have a look at uh, what is going on with the PSU. But again, what's the problem? What is the problem? We test the PSU without any load, and this is not uh, the proper way. It's like uh, testing the car at idle without uh, going out on the road. Check the suspension, the brakes, how it accelerates. You have to check the power supply under the load to be sure that everything is okay. How you can do that? You get one of these cheap uh, PCBs. I bought this from Banggood. Okay. You have a resistor. 2 ohm, 2 ohm 100 watt. This, these are very cheap. You can buy them from Mauser or uh, Fadnell or any other electronic store. Okay. 2 ohm resistor. A 12 volt means 6 amps load current. 6 amps current uh, with 12 volt means 72 watt load, 72 watt power. The PSU will deliver 72 watt power, which is quite enough to check if the PSU is okay or not. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to connect the ATX connector here. There's a button here. Red means that the PSU works, and indeed it works. Let's shut it down. I'm going to connect one cable of the resistor at well, but there's no polarity. You can connect either of the two cables. There's no problem here. Okay, 12 volt. And the other cable at one of the earth points. I'm going to open my multimeter. Okay. So, because I also need to take some volt measurements. 12.6 volt okay let's connect the load now how low it drops so. yeah it drops so low because the fixture is not optimal for high loads it's a low end fixture but it doesn't matter the thing is that the PSU didn't shut down and I didn't have crazy low I mean uh, 10 or 11 volt output this means that the PSU is probably okay Okay, let's check the 5 volt rail. In the 5 volt rail with a 2 ohm resistor, I will have 2.5 amps. You see the voltage drop? It's better here. It's lower because of the lower amps. Let's check the 3.3 volt rail. 3.316. Okay. Yeah quite high voltage up here and if I want to go even further I'm going to shut down the PSU okay uh, 5 BSB no there's no 5 BSB ah bummer there's no 5 BSB minus 12 Minus 12 is really high. Don't go, don't load with uh, six amps the minus 12. It will probably die the PSU. Do you want me to try it, Petros? Try it. So, uh, the minus 12 uh, rail is 0 0.3 or 0.5 amps maximum. I'm going to put uh, here six amps on this rail, even more. Will it survive? Let's try. Bo, this PSU. No, I guys, I, I cannot do that. This PSU is the second sample. We need to take measurements on this. Once we finish the measurements, I will do that. <laughs> I cannot do that. If it dies, it's game over for us. Okay, I showed you today how to check your power supply, if it is good or if you should throw it away and buy a new one, not a gigabyte, of course. And uh, if you have any comments, any questions, please leave them, leave them on there. Uh, comment section
Uh, we also have a Discord server, a uh, full community there. If you have any questions, any problems with your PC or your power supply, you can contact uh, one of our team members in uh, the Discord server. We also have a Patreon page if you want to support us and tell us what else you would like to see from us. Technical matters. Okay, bye bye.